Today we're going to show instructions on the aftercare for a facelift, a mini lift, or a cheek lift. First we're going to indicate where the incisions will be located. The first incision is a small incision under the chin in the crease. The second location of the incisions start in the hairline and as they move back, then they become vertical and they run in the creases behind the tragus. Then they move back behind the ear in the crease and into the hair. Now it is important to note that these incisions will be cleaned four to five times a day. Next, we're gonna go over the proper cleaning techniques for facelift, mini lift, and cheek lift. The first part is getting a Q-tip placing it in peroxide that has been pre-poured into the cap. Then you dip the Q-tip and you first address the chin incision by slowly rolling the Q-tip and noting the fizzing of the peroxide. Then you take the Q-tip with peroxide and you clean only in front of the ear along the incisions that are visible. And behind the ear, is going to be a blind sweep. What that means is you do not ever pull the ear forward. You simply run the Q-tip behind, sweep it along the incision behind the ear. The next step is going to be the application of the ointment. Using the Vaseline or Aquaphor that has been provided to you by our office, you are going to place the Vaseline on a Q-tip then you'll start on the chin and you'll gently run it over the incision and then you will move to the areas in front of the ears and behind the tragus and then again behind the ear is a blind sweep you never want to pull the ear forward the last component of cleaning the facelift incisions are the hair bearing incisions now these are the only incisions that do not receive peroxide nor Vaseline and they are simply washed using Johnson's baby shampoo. The technique is simple. You place a little shampoo on your hands, you lather it and you wash the hair bearing incisions gently with the balls of the fingers and you move to the back incisions and you repeat that process four to five times a day. A very important part of the healing and control of swelling and bruising after a facelift, mini lift, or a cheek lift is the application of cold frequently for the first three days. We recommend using a towel that has been soaked in cold water or has frozen vegetables or peas and place them underneath the chin and the neck. Second, you can place gauzes over the cheeks to help control some of the swelling in that area as well. When the patient is lying more flat, these will stay on.